This video is about the Casio FX5000F scientific calculator that first came on the market in 1987. Uh, there were a number of other FX series scientific calculators released by Casio around the same time. Uh, there was the FX3600P uh, uh, and 4000P which supported keystroke programming. And there was also the FX7000G uh, which is a, the world's first graphing calculator uh, that I have a separate video on. Uh, but the 5000F was interesting because it pioneered a new programming model for Casio, uh, one that was based around formula definitions. Physically, the 5000F is similar to other wallet-style Casio calculators from the same era. Uh, it came in a foldable faux leather uh, wallet, uh, which also included a compact reference card, uh, this one's in German, uh, and the calculator itself is very light and compact. Uh, this one only weighs 113 grams. It has a aluminum front and back plates uh, that need to be unscrewed to replace the two coin cell batteries. Uh, and the calculator has a physical on-off switch on its left side uh, and a uh, physical a wheel to control uh, the contrast of the LCD display uh, on its right. Like many Casio calculators, the, uh, this calculator supports a number of modes which are summarized in the table below the display and are controlled through the mode key. So the main uh, mode is uh, mode 1, run mode. And in run mode you can enter arithmetic expressions uh, and hit EXE uh, to evaluate them. Uh, you can also uh, use the previous result uh, through uh, the answer key um, and uh, in a next expression. Uh, and you can use the right and left arrows to go back uh, and edit uh, previous formula and reevaluate it. Uh, in run mode, you can also assign results to uh, 10 memory registers uh, using uh, the right arrow and IK keys. So to assign 4001 into register 1, uh, I'd hit the right arrow key uh, and then IK1 and um, evaluate. Uh, and you can also use the mode key to switch to base end mode, uh, which supports binary, octal, and hex arithmetic. Uh, so for example, I can use mode uh, minus uh, and then hex uh, to switch to hex mode. Uh, and now I can enter numbers in hexadecimal uh, and do arithmetic on them. Uh, and it also supports uh, logical bitwise operations. So uh, I could do and uh, and another uh, hex uh, number to do a bitwise and uh, and you can also uh, use the mode key to switch between uh, degrees, radians, and, and gradients for trigonometric operations. Uh, it also has a standard deviation mode where you can enter in uh, sequences and numbers and get statistical values such as mean and standard deviations. Uh, and there's also a line linear regression mode where you can enter XY coordinates uh, and the calculator will uh, perform various types of regressions. A really unique feature of the 5000F is its ability to retrieve and evaluate 128 formula from mathematics, uh, physics, electronics, stats, and mechanics. Uh, and the way this works is quite straightforward. You just type in the number of the formula um, you're interested in and hit the formula key. And the inset uh, booklet um, describes each of the formula. Uh, so we'll pick the formula for full distance, uh, which is formula 43. Uh, so this formula calculates the distance an object falls under gravity based on initial velocity uh, and a time amount in seconds. Uh, so say if we had dropped an object, uh, its velocity at time zero would be zero. Uh, and say we wanted to know how far an object falls in five seconds, uh, we could enter that. Uh, and then the distance is 122 meters. Uh, and there are a lot of simple but useful formula available. 
uh, another uh, useful one is combinations, which is formula 13. Uh, and so say if we uh, wanted to know um, the number of combinations of say three objects um, out of a set of five, uh, we could enter our n and r values uh, and we get c equals uh, 10. And the 5000F also lets you define your own formula uh, and so to do this you need to use the alpha alpha Greek and constant shift keys um, in order to enter variables and physical constants. Uh, so say we wanted to enter the formula E equals MC squared, uh, we'd first switch to write mode 2 uh, and we pick our program space, so let's say 0. Uh, and to enter the E uh, we'd uh, need to use the alpha key uh, and then uh, shift uh, to get the equals. Uh, and again, we'd need to use the alpha key uh, to get m. Uh, and c, uh, the speed of light, is a physical constant. Uh, so you hit alpha uh, constant and then 1 uh, and then c squared. Uh, so then after we've defined that, uh, we can switch back to run mode 1. Uh, and to load that formula, um, you actually hit the PROG key uh, and pick 0. Uh, and now to evaluate that formula, it's the same as within a built-in formula. So say if we had a mass of 80 uh, kilograms, uh, we just evaluate our formula and uh, the energy is equivalent is uh, 7.19 times 10 to the 18 uh, joules. And then it's also possible to chain together formula. So say uh, we can retrieve uh, formula 1, uh, which is the quadratic equation, uh, and it can actually solve for roots. Uh, so say uh, we will choose 20 for A, uh, minus 50 uh, for B, and say 1 for C. Uh, it then prompt us for D, uh, which is odd, um, but we'll see why later. Um, but we can hit XE and um, we get the uh, solution, one of the solutions, and then if we hit um, execute, we'll get uh, the other one. Uh, and so in this case, um, the formula evaluator is not just evaluating a single formula. Uh, and we can take a look at the code uh, for the quadratic formula uh, by switching uh, back to write mode uh, and we'll pick uh, spaced one this time. And then, and then we can hit the formula key uh, to paste in uh, the formula we were evaluating. Uh, and you can use the arrow keys to scroll through that formula. So it's kind of interesting, it's actually split into sections uh, so the first section is uh, just the, a string expression, um, that's the name of the formula. Uh, and then there's a separator character. Uh, and the second part is, is the actual formula that um, the uh, calculator is going to pick the variables for. Uh, then the third one is uh, the first solution to the quadratic equation. Uh, and the fourth one is uh, the second solution. Uh, and so by chaining for me, you can um, create some sort of basic types of programs, um, but they are limited uh, without the ability to use conditional uh, conditionals, loops, or subroutines. So in summary, the FX5000F uh, was a powerful uh, calculator uh, for the mid-80s. Uh, its formula programming model uh, that it pioneered was continued by Casio uh, in the beautiful FX 5500 landscape format calculator. Uh, and then finally in the uh, FX 5500L uh, in 1990. Uh, and the calculator couldn't solve for any variable, uh, let's say uh, with the HP solve function in the HP 18C, which was introduced a year later. Uh, but it certainly is a fast and efficient way of evaluating formulas, and it was reasonably easy to define your own. Uh, I find this series of Casio FX calculators from the mid-80s uh, quite beautiful. 
Uh, but I think in the case of the uh, of this calculator, the keyboard has a little too many things going on, and it can really be quite confusing uh, working out which one of the multiple shift modes is needed to enter a symbol. Uh, and the symbols are all very small to read. But overall, the FX5000 uh, was a very innovative calculator for the time, uh, and I really enjoy using it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful.